If you are addicted to anger, then you're simply stuck in one of the five stages of grief. There's denial, which a whole shitload of people are in right now about what's going on. After they get kind of a sense that they might be wrong, they will become angry and sometimes violently angry. They don't want to be Smith in the Matrix or Thanos or the Stormtroopers or Darth Vader. They don't want to ever admit that they were on the wrong side, the evil side of history. Folks, if you're stuck in anger, then guess what? You're fucked. You're on the wrong side. But get to the next stages, right? You'll start to go through this bargaining stage where you rationalize all the reasons why you believed what you believed, that there is no deep state or cabal and that these people are all out there just trying to do good for us when the evidence is overwhelming that these poison producers are the cause of the suffering in our world. You'll go through the stage then of bargaining and then depression. You'll feel so bad that you were so ignorant, but don't fucking stay there too long. Don't worry about it. Just join us on the other side and accept this fact because once enough of us accept this fact, then we can say no to tyranny. Then we can say yes to the constitution and the amendments that are freaking so well thought out because those people went through the same shit we're going through. The difference is we have a technocracy now. They have the technology to control us on levels that didn't exist before. So we have to wake up. We have to help inspire people past these five stages of grief and get them to the acceptance of what's true at least on the levels we understand it. But most importantly, the law of attraction, follow your bliss as a man thinketh. The most important thing we can do is move forward and focus on a vision of the future that pulls us with joy and love. This idea of abundance is so simple, my friends. When we simply plant edibles and strategic plants that produce food and all sorts of other benefits, instead of these strictly ornamentals, we win. And the Garden of Eden is the idea whose time has come. So let's win. Love you. Ciao.